Decisions are one of the most important things that can change our lives. In whatever aspect of our life, be it personal or professional, it surely involves some level of decision making. Some decisions can be made in a blink of an eye, whereas some decisions require sleepless nights and critical thinking. This book talks about the enduring principles for honing one's decision making abilities. It's an exploration of how to seek the truth, make decisions, and apply frameworks to achieve success in life. It emphasizes the importance of principles that serve as the foundations that guide our behavior, leading us to the path of success. As one of the most successful entrepreneurs and one of the world's wealthiest, Dalio shares his life principles that helped him discern the truth and helped him get what he wants from life. Here are the top seven lessons from the book Principles by Ray Dalio. Lesson one, use principles to make decisions. Generally, values are regarded as essential in defining who we want to become. Values give rise to principles. For example, our daily decisions to be more health conscious stem from our value to live a healthy lifestyle. The book, however, posits that rather than using values as basis for decision making, we should use principles instead. Principles connect our values to our actions. Thus, when facing tough decisions, principles allow us to react to circumstances with consideration of our values. It's our principles that should be turned on when dealing with hard choices. Lesson two, accept reality as it is. The quality of the decisions we make translates to the quality of life we'll have. Thus, to make better decisions, Dalio suggests that we adopt hyperrealism. Hyperrealism is described as accepting the reality as it is, instead of wishing it was different. Indeed, reality can at times be scary, and there may be times that we try to escape from it, but doing so is futile. Greater success is achieved by first understanding how reality works, and second learning how to work with it, rather than going against it. Being a hyperrealist prevents one from drowning in dreams that are unrealistic. Hence, his formula to success is just the right combination of dreams, reality, and determination. So for us to make accurate decisions, we need to be grounded to what is true and real, no matter how hard it may be. Lesson three, apply the five-step process to get what you want out of life. Becoming successful takes place across five stages. First, having clear goals. Second, identifying the problems that prevent us from achieving these goals. Third, diagnosing the root cause of these problems. Fourth, designing plans to help overcome these roots. And lastly, executing the plans to get desired results. Going through each process one at a time and repeating the cycle will help us achieve bigger goals. By setting clear goals, we determine our direction. As we move towards that direction, it's expected that problems will be encountered along the way. By identifying the problems and planning the strategy to overcome them, the opportunity for the self to evolve is at hand. Each time we repeat the five steps, we could set our goals a little higher. When we get frustrated with the process, we simply imagine life is a game which comes with twists and turns, but has the ultimate goal of overcoming challenges and to win. Lesson four, be radically open-minded. One of the most fundamental requirements to success is to be open-minded. Our ego and blind spots hinder us from seeing reality in an objective manner. By acknowledging the fact that we have blind spots, we become open to the notion of reaching out to someone who can point out our weaknesses and areas for improvement. This will then help us make better choices because exploring varying points of view helps us learn what's true. Lesson five, cultivate meaningful work relationships. In organizations, a harmonious relationship among the employees results to better work performance and better relations. A meaningful working relationship requires that employees should be loyal to the organization instead of to any individual. Individuals may come and go, but the organization will remain. Loyalty in this sense entails working in the interest of the organization and not for an individual's sake. Building strong relationships with colleagues also means developing trust and respect, maintaining consistent communication, and speaking well of each other. Lesson six, calm those emotions. One way to ensure that we make reliable decisions is by managing our emotions. This means that we need to identify emotions that can give the greatest threat to decision-making. When we're at the height of our emotions, our judgment can be clouded. We may make decisions based on fleeting emotions and end up regretting it once the emotions subside. So as much as possible, we should not make decisions, especially life-changing ones, when we're still highly emotional. We need to be at our calmest and rational state when we make decisions. Lesson seven, examine different perspectives. Another way to ensure that the decisions we make is the result of a reliable and systematic manner of thinking is by looking at things from different lenses. When we make decisions, it's helpful to take more than one perspective on the current situation based on logic, reasoning, and common sense. If we just see things from our perspective alone, we may fixate on the thought and fail to consider other ideas, which may be better or more appropriate for our situation. Thus, it's better to look at both sides of the coin for us to arrive at the soundest decision. In conclusion, this book emphasizes that principles are important wisdoms of life that speak of absolute truths and endure the tests of time. 
To be principled is to consistently operate with principles that can be clearly explained. When we adhere to principles without giving them much thought, we risk acting in ways inconsistent with our goals and our nature. Thus, we need to have a solid foundation of our principles for us to have a clear and straightforward approach to decision-making and life management. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.